sadness started to come up. And at first I was resisting it without realizing. I was just kind of struggling with it. But then I, you know, I, you know, I've done my, you know, research and I know that integrating emotions is important. And I also feel it like it's important to to welcome my sadness. But then what started happening was sadness would well up in me, but I wouldn't be able to cry. Sometimes I'd get a sense of it, but I was getting this welling of sadness. And then suddenly it was welling. I was like teaching tennis at the time. And I was like working with like, you know, an eight-year-old and sadness was like welling up in me. And I, and I, I couldn't, <laughs> I had no control over it. And I thought I was going to cry sometimes. Even one time, this boy who was very sensitive even said, oh, are you going to cry? And, and I was like, like unbelievable that he saw that because everyone else, like no one said anything or even seemed to notice, but I was getting this sadness all the time. And then I remember it, it, there was this really big circle I had um, and, and suddenly like what happened is I froze in my hands. I could even feel it like this. Um, which is actually connected to my the thing I just shared previously about the the battle between the life force and the tensing. But there was this tensing happening, but for the first time I didn't hide it. So I, if I felt sadness and some kind of tension in my body, I'd try and look normal without realizing it. Like I, I didn't want to look like all tense and um, so it was really vulnerable for me to be in front of a group who were circling me and actually allow myself to tense up how I, you know, the real tension in me. And when that was allowed, the, the way people were being with me, it just really touched me. I started crying, but it was really strange for me because the thought of crying in front of people, I mean, I'm a British guy. It's like emotions were really uncomfortable for me even though I wanted it and it felt like I needed some kind of catharsis or, or allowing of my emotion. But because of the way people were being with me, I just started crying and I felt at ease with it. it I wasn't even like covering my face. It was really strange. And, uh, and even after that, I, I don't, even now I wouldn't necessarily feel comfortable crying if it suddenly came, especially if I was in public, but in that, when we were connecting in this way, it felt like, oh yeah, this is this is actually connecting to feel my emotions with people. Yeah, um, what you're saying resonates right now because I feel it's um, like relevant in my own life uh, with like dealing with sadness. And for me, actually, I've been somebody who cried. Um, like my whole life, you know, like tears would just, and I couldn't hold them back. They would come up literally. Like, I think I was uh, maybe like 16 and I was like crying about something. And my dad was like, Oh, like you're 16. Like, what, why are you crying or something? Why are you still crying? And um, like, now I kind of realized that maybe like sadness was, wasn't something that was like really accepted, like in my family, like anger was accepted, but sadness wasn't. And I would feel deep sadness at certain times and also anger, but um, sa like sadness was not the one that wasn't accepted. So it, it's like it, the way that it would felt, it was like it would come up and then part of me would be suppressing it. So I'd be crying. It would almost feel like getting your foot stuck in the door. It's like, oh, I'm like so sad, but I, the emotion wouldn't move through me. Right. It would get like almost like stuck and then I'd be crying, but it wouldn't. Like I wouldn't be crying at all. It'd be like halfway crying or like holding the tears back or something like that. And, um, you know, it, it's still something that I'm working with now. But but yeah, like going back to your story of like playing tennis and then like the sadness coming up. And I noticed this with myself, like I'll be somewhere in public and I'll just have a wave. And it's like, oh, I can't cry right now because I'm like over here in this public area. Um, and then later... It's like, I'll be alone. And it's like, oh, it's, it went away. It's like, where did it go? But I know it's not processed. Like, I know I need to go through feeling that. And I kind of have this vision and I don't know, like, this is just something I keep sharing and I don't know how this would work, but it's like, imagine 
you were just walking down the street and somebody is like just crying and it's like, oh yeah, look, it's a person processing their emotions and it's like completely normal. Whereas if somebody was crying now, like a grown man was just crying, you're like, well, what the hell happened to him? So it's like, like that, like I envision that, like us being able to cry when we need to. Um, yeah. And I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I, I guess there's like, like when I share that, there's like a lot of resistance uh, to like, oh, like cry, it, like you have to compartmentalize your emotions and you're crying. Like you need to cry in this, at a specific time in a specific place. And like, yeah, I don't know. Like just with me, it always felt like the emotions are coming up. Like I need to cry right now. I need to cry. It's like, you know, it's almost like if you need to use the bathroom, like, yeah, you, 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 you know, you might hold it till you find a place to go. But it's like, if you really got to go, like you got to go use the bathroom. Maybe they could have like booths for crying or something. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> what, what do you make of what I'm saying right now? <laughs> yeah. Um, it, a lot of things. I, I, I enjoy the, uh, the vision and the, the, where I imagine you're coming from in it. Like this seems like a sense of really honoring like the whole human experience and, and noticing like the pain it can be to try to suppress that sometimes or, um, and and even that example you gave with your father, e- even if it's sometimes it's it's like you know parents in in actually in a very good willing place, but then they just say, "Ah, oh, like you're 16. Why are you feeling sadness?" But actually, there's a little bit of unacceptance in there. So then, of course, that's not you're not going to suddenly then want to really cry with him and feel like you can really show what it is that you're emotionally feeling and then feel him be really close, like be touched in his emotion with you. So you get to share that and, and then discover like the, almost the transmission of sadness. Cause the thing that you discover when you do start to be able to feel the sadness and especially in connection is there's a special transmission from all these emotions and the one I, I always got from sadness was like, yeah, I get shivers remembering it. It's like, you know, that sense sometimes where you're around people that you love and you know, but you're so familiar with them. that There's a kind of like, there's a kind of subtle, when you think about it, what's the subtle awkwardness or something or like it, it's something kind of flattens out a little bit and, and it can even, you can get to the stage where you're, you know, you, things aren't quite as open as normal. You're just used to each other. and But then something happens like, you know, your your uncle or your, your sister or your, your mum or they get sick or something or they have a close shave or like or, or an accident of some kind or they get fired. Or, and then suddenly you're like, oh, like, and it hits you so deep. And it's like, how do I forget how much I love them? Like, how does it happen? It kind of covers over. But what I found is when I started to connect with my sadness more like consciously and be able to bring it in connection, it cuts through complacency to the real love I have with the people close to me. So I felt like, oh, what a gift. Like I, I practice and I get to experience more of myself. And then in my life, I'm like, I'm not being complacent with those I love and I'm feeling a lot of meaning just being around them. So it's like, that's the gift of the sadness. So what a loss. And I think that's part of your vision. Like what a loss if the sadness gets held in w- when it can be showing us like the real love we have for the people that are close to us. And then, and then at the same time, like there is also something about the way we try to, you know, manage our emotions it's also there's also a wisdom in that as well like there's a way that people can also act out their emotions they're actually using their emotions to to try and make something happen or to to get something or they've learned that and and on a deeper level that's innocent but but there is something to this convention of like you know trying to to be with your emotions i remember recently i had a a, a little crash on my bike and it wasn't that serious, but I had my daughter on the bike and she's two years old and she almost banged her head and she was terrified, but we were okay. But, but 
But that is actually a huge thing, actually, even though in a way it wasn't that serious. In another way, it had a huge impact on me. But then I was going to someone's birthday party and that's your vision then would have been lovely. Like when I got there, I could just cry in front of everyone. But this was like a busy restaurant and it was someone's birthday. So I just was like, oh, by the way, I've got, you know, I've got a cut on my leg. I'm just going to go to the bathroom. So I went to the bathroom because I needed to cry. Or I wanted to cry, actually, is the better. And so I went and I knew I was in a trauma response. I knew I, knew I needed to process. Like, that was my daughter. Like, that was a close shave. She almost hurt herself. So I was just, like, crying. And, and I was also tuning into my body. And it was wanting to, like, push away. And it was wanting to get angry. So I just gave myself time in the toilets doing that, which was even a bit awkward, even, like, locked up in the toilets. But it allowed me to free that energy and then when I went to the party it was like I could yeah whereas before I was almost welling up even like being there with everyone 